Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to host your Node.js or particularly an Express.js application on real way. For example, I have this simple frontend chat application. Let's open it up in a new tab to test it out. I will simply connect to a chat using John as a name for this one and for the other one let's connect using Harry. But as you can see it is not working and my messages are not appearing over the other chat and that is because the backend of it is written in Node.js and I am using socket.io library for real time chatting but the backend code is not yet hosted. So let's deploy the backend code for it together and make it work as expected. Now for the hosting service I am going to use Railway. By the way this video is not sponsored. I have chosen Railway because it is an awesome service which also provides a free tier of hosting up to 3 projects with some data limit. Anyways to get started I have my backend code ready. So the cool thing that I like about Railway is that you can sync your github repo with your Railway account. So anytime you push your code to github it will be auto updated on Railway as well. And your users will always utilize the updated version of your server. And this is exactly what I will show you how to do in this particular video. So first of all let's upload the project on github. I have my github open and let's create a brand new repository. I will name it mchat and give a simple description. Now you can choose public or private. I will simply make it private. But you can also choose public to make this repo available to see by the world. And finally I will create the repository. Now we need to push the code here. So here in my VS code in the terminal I will write some commands to push the code to the repo we have just created. But before that make sure to create a .git ignore file in your root project and be sure to mention node modules inside that just to ignore the node modules folder to be pushed to github. After that we are ready to deploy the code. So just type the command git init to initialize a brand new repository on your local machine. After that type the command as git add dot. Now this will add all the files to staging. Next I will write git commit minus m and I will name the commit as initial commit. It doesn't matter it is just a message. Now after that I will write git remote add origin and will copy paste my origin from the repository I created. This will simply provide access to push the code to your github. Finally if it is successful I will type the command as git push origin master to push my code. Now as you can see my code has been pushed and if I go to my repository and refresh here is the code being pushed successfully. So we are done with the first step. Next let's go to railway and, and here click on login. I will login using github and as you can see I have one project already there. I will click on a new project. Here I will click on deploy from github app and I will click on configure option. Here I will pick my repository. In this case it is mchat and now I will pick it right away. And here you can click on deploy now button. But if you have environment variables in your application which in our case we don't, you can click on variables as well. Anyways the build process has started and in few seconds your app will be active. Now as our server is hosted successfully, next I will change the name or you can say the URL of our app. This is important because in our frontend we use strict URL to point to our backend. So let's click on settings and here you will find domain option. I will click on edit domain and write mchat as the name. So now I am done with everything and now our app should work. So let's try it out. And as you can see now I am able to chat which means now our frontend application is connected to the server. And so we are successfully deployed our server on railway. Now anytime you want to update the code for your backend, simply go to your code editor, make some changes. For example I want to remove this extra console message. Now check the status. 
so it is telling that one file has some changes now just write git add dot again and commit your changes finally write the command as git push origin master and that's it your changes will reflect and as you can see on real way the build has auto started and it has detected the change to your github code and within matter of seconds your app will be updated and as you can see it works so guys that's it i hope you enjoyed this video at last i want to mention if you want to learn programming or web development make sure to subscribe to my channel for upcoming future videos and also do support me on patreon for source code and other exclusive content thanks for watching and i will see you in the next time